how to make a DIY wardrobe using Walmart items. Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. I'll be starting off with Walmart crates. And I'll be making the wardrobe at this corner. I'll use one of the crates at the bottom to level it properly and mount the crate that's on top to the wall. I'll do the same thing for the next crate. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now I'm gonna go ahead to attach Walmart mirrors to the crates using hinges. There's going to be a lot of space in the middle, so I'm going to be covering that up with a marker board. I'm gonna go ahead now to cover up the crates on the inside and also cover up the outer side of the crates. I have a lot of leftover foam boards that have already been covered with contact paper. I'm gonna measure them out, cut them to size and use them to cover up the crates. I'll be covering up the part of the crates that still shows with white paint. I want this to be a golden wardrobe, so I'm going to be cleaning this up in the middle and covering it with gold contact paper. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. You can see some dots on my work and the bigger ones are from the nails. 
I thought about turning the handles for this wardrobe into storage as well. I made these so that in case there are things inside, they won't be showing from the outside. I'm not too sure if I should have these boards on the inside or on the outside, but I will go ahead and just try both designs on the wardrobe. There are two ways to have these attached on the wardrobe. You can use screws to hold them in place on the wood that's with the mirror, and then use command strips at the tail end to keep it flat on the mirror. Now this is just for illustration purposes. What I'm going to do is use command strips all through the back to attach it to the mirror so that I can remove it and show you guys another option that I have in mind for this wardrobe. This is a crown molding from Lowe's that I'm going to be spray painting gold and attaching it to the middle. I'll be attaching this to the wood that I had already used in the middle. I'm going to take off the screws and cover up the holes with acrylic paint. I'll be showing you what this looks like when the board is in front and what the board is also inside to see which one better suits your style. Now this storage here used as a handle is so cool because you can have items placed on the inside. Now remember, if you want to use heavy items inside, you have to use command strips that can hold heavy weight items. I took off the front and another option will be to use tubes and cover them with gold contact paper and attach them. And these will serve as handles. I'm making another design for the middle. So I got dowels that I'll be spray painting gold. And I also got onlays from Lowe's that I spray painted gold and all these little items are gonna be used to decorate the wardrobe. I started attaching the pieces and have this tape up here to guide me to make sure that these are going to be glued on a straight line. I use the tube in between all of the pieces to give me equal spacing. When I was done, I took the tape off and realized the space in between them is too much, so I brought down the onlay. Now here's what the wardrobe now looks like. So this is the second design that I thought of in mind to use for a wardrobe because I'll be using this in my craft room. But if you love gold and you're into glam, this will be perfect for the bedroom. Now the other design is good as well. And it has storage on the handles, which I really love. I hope you all enjoyed this video and don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.